Man, it feels so weird to be back in this old room, in this old house on Alola. <sighs> I mean, here has been a lot of places, but this place, in these clothes, it feels more like home to him than literally anywhere else he's ever been. How do you feel, Rotom? Does it feel good to be back in your old casing? Thought it would be a cool nostalgia trip for you. Anyway, um, Hero is back in Alola. Uh, this time he dragged his mom here because he got a call from Lily, of all people. She's back. She's back in Alola. And she wants to... Well, she wants to see him. Like, not for anything special. She just wants to see him again. And and he is all up for that. So, um... Let's, let's get right to it, shall we? Meowth, this is it. We're really definitely going to put away these boxes today. How are you still on this? We have moved to two other regions since then. Yikes, Mom. Oh, could this be her? <sighs> I mean, in any other situation, I'd make fun of the fact that literally the first day back, someone is ringing our doorbell, but that could be Lily. She might have seen us sh moving back into the house. Ow. Sophocles, I was, I was looking forward to seeing a very specific person, and you are not her. <laughs> Hero, uh, I've, you've got to... What's wrong? What do you mean, what's wrong? Everything is wrong. I don't know what to do. Oh, are you one of Hero's friends? I'm his mom. It's so nice to meet you. Uh, mom. Do, do you not... Do you not know the... The, the, the... Bigwig trainers of the Alola region yet? Yeah, Soracles, I mean... Uh, Safari, I mean, I'm sorry. No, I mean, I'm Sophocles. I'm, I'm a very sorry Sophocles. That was, that was a hard line to narrate. I had, had to do a couple takes of that. <laughs> sorry, let me calm down a bit. I came because I need your help, hero. I'm, I literally just got back. I mean, I, uh, hero jokes about t trouble following him, but at this point... It's not even funny anymore. A bunch of strange guys appeared out of nowhere, and and they took over Festival Plaza. Oh, and okay. Uh, I was gonna say nothing of value was lost, but I recognize that symbol. And the space suddenly became all twisted, and then the programming of the plaza was rewritten. That's why the castle looks so... cool. Oh, you get it, hero. Yeah, uh, the way it's so dark and menacing, whoever did this certainly has cool taste in architecture. Yeah, I get it. Though, um... It can't be them, though. It can't be. I helped disband them. Like, I didn't do the bulk of the work. That was red, but... I, I definitely took down the remnants of this group. This symbol's a little different, though. Maybe it's not them. I don't know. Still, they broke through my impenetrable security system, even if they did take advantage of a system malfunction, and they've taken complete control of Festival Plaza. Again, I don't care about Festival Plaza, man. Um, I'm more concerned with the fact that this might be... This could be a problem, just in general. Not for Festival Plaza, because I don't, I don't care about Festival Plaza. Be careful, these guys know what they're doing. I doubt that. Please, Hero, you've got to help me take back Festival Plaza. Sure. I'm glad you're with me, Hero. You're the champion, after all. I mean, I'm sure somebody else has taken the championship since I left, but thank you, Sophocles, for acknowledging that, yes, I am the first champion of Alola. Well, let's go, then. Try to do a gulping sound there. I don't know if that came across as a gulp or just like a... Low-pitched yelp. You guys will have to let me know in the comments. Oh god, it is them, somehow. What? Wait, no, that's still... That's not exactly right. Yay! 
Yeah, who are you? Nobody should be able to enter Team Rocket's castle. It is Team Rocket. What the hell is going on here? Yeah, I have admin rights. What? How dare you try to confuse me with your nerd language? That's not even difficult to understand, man. Damn, no matter. Hey, Team Rocket's castle is under our control. There's nothing you can do, whoever you are. <laughs> That's hard to do. Holy crap. It seems like this group calls itself Team Rocket. Yeah, have you not heard of Team Rocket? They definitely don't seem like nice people. No, they, they, they don't. They're Team Rocket. Have you never heard of Team Rocket? Really? Yeah, I can't believe I've allowed Festival Plaza to be taken over by people like them. And still, he said this castle was under their control. What exactly? He means it's under their control, obviously. That's how they changed it. Weird. Yeah, he's doing nerd stuff. I've got it, hero. They have some sort of program like that prevents us from using the Pokemon in our party. Oh, that's not good. I brought Nebby back specifically to battle in Alola again. I don't even get to use him. That's stupid. We need to figure out some way to get Team Rocket out of here without using or without using our own Pokemon. All right. Um. I mean, one of the things you could do here was Pokemon Rentals, right? That's this, right? Right. You're looking real close at it. Do you have anything to say? It turns out that we can't use our own Pokemon either. Thank goodness for the battle agency. We can still use other people's Pokemon after all. Okay. Hey, I got an idea, man. Did you have any ideas on how to get Team Rocket out of here, Hero? Yeah, the battle agency. Really, you should have thought of this. The battle agency, of course. If we use the battle agency rules, we can use other people's Pokemon to battle. It doesn't matter if we can't use our own. Just a sec. Nerd stuff, nerd stuff, nerd stuff. And virtual receptionist lady. Fantastic. I've made it so we can use the battle agency now, too. I wish there was more I could do, but I can't even access my full admin rights. Don't cry, man. It's fine. I'll get you through this, I promise. I need you to defeat Team... Yeah, he gets it, see? Yep, okay, cool. So hold him off until he can get control back. I can handle that. Hey, what's up? I, um, I'm going to be perfectly straight with you, robot lady. This is actually a robot receptionist, isn't it, technically speaking? I literally only only care about being able to battle with a Pokemon. I don't care about the other rules. That's why I'm talking over you right now. Just just give me, give me a Pokemon so I can kick these guys' asses and leave this place as quickly as possible. Because I, I really could not care less about this place. I don't even know which Pokemon I picked. I picked Rotom. Okay. Now, please, please stop talking to me. Why? I don't need teammates. Don't give me teammates. I don't care about teammates. Just, just, just let me go. Okay, fantastic. Took long enough. Oh, hey, I've got cool Terminator sunglasses. Let me introduce the trainers who will battle along with you. I don't care. Festival fan, good morning. And festival fan, good morning. I will do everything in my power to ensure that they don't have to do anything because they annoy me. Just heard two words from each of them and they already annoy me. Oh, who are you? I'll beat you! I doubt that. You are a Team Rocket grunt. I expect you to be like negative challenge. <sighs> Raticate. Could be mildly annoying. Those are pretty fast. Can use dark moves, but this version of Rotom isn't a ghost, so it wouldn't take super effective damage from dark moves. Got a good move set. Yeah. Didn't flinch me, that's good. Did about as much damage as I expected. An Orin Berry. Excuse me, an Orin Berry. Who, who set up this Pokemon? Dear God. Focus energy, that's not going to help you at all right now. Yeah, so, um... They battle like Team Rocket, too. Hero is very confused at this point. He does not understand what's going on. Golbat, okay. This should be an even easier victory than the last one. Thunderbolt again, please. Zappy Zap, and the Golbat goes down, unsurprisingly. 
It's interesting. They're also using rented Pokemon, but it seems like he just has a straight up Kanto Team Rocket team, which I find hilarious. All right, let's finish this in style. Boom. Yeah, I would think so. All right, is that enough? Are we done yet? Ugh, don't you guys pretend like you did anything. Oh, this doesn't look great. Yeah, impossible! This kid defeated me! Okay, 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 okay. Do you guys not know what organization you're a part of? Kids are always defeating you. That's unfair! You shouldn't be able to battle so effectively with other people's Pokemon! Oh, that's right, they steal Pokemon, don't they? Like, they're... They're one of the few villain teams where their whole goal is just straight up to steal Pokemon and make money off of them. You would think they'd be good at battling with other people's Pokemon, but they suck. Oh, that's hilarious. Bah, get him, guys! Oh, are they just going to straight up beat me up? I mean, I, I don't... I don't know how to fight with my body. Guys, can we talk about this? We can't let you take back Team Rocket's castle. The boss's plans depend on it. What boss? I thought I defeated all their leaders, all their remaining leaders. What are they talking about? Yeah, just in time. Full system restore. Hey, look, all the robots are back. Target set to Team Rocket. Executing kick from Festival Plaza. Alright. Phew. Yeah, it was close. Thanks for your help, Hero. And you kept them busy just long enough for me to get back full admin access. Yep. And I've used that access to lock out Team Rocket from Festival Plaza forever. That's that's good. That's probably a very good thing. I also restored all the features and everything to normal, too. Uh, what about the design of the castle? I, I kind of like what they did with the castle, even though they were our enemies. I'll add it to one of the themes. And I'll set up some boss data that'd be perfect for this kind of castle. If you want to change the look of the castle, try raising... I'm, not, I'm never going to do that, man. Also, this is for you. You helped me out a lot. Yeah, it's kind of my job. And a check button. I'm trying to think when I would use an eject button. I can't think of a situation where I would use an eject button. But sure. Alright, thanks. I'm really glad you came with me, hero. Let's go home. Yeah, he took the words right out of my mouth. Later that night, Lily did actually come by, and she and Hero went out to talk for a while. It's actually kind of remarkable how natural it felt being together again. There wasn't any awkwardness at all. And without even thinking it, they ended up flying together to an important place to the two of them. They stayed out and talked throughout the night. And yes, I do mean they stayed out and talked get your minds out of the gutter. When it started to rain again on Executor Island, they even ended up together again under that same exact rocky outcropping as the last time. And while they didn't get into the nitty-gritty of their individual adventures in each other's absence yet, that's something that they'll have plenty of time to talk about in the future. They don't expect to spend much time apart for a while. Neither one of them quite knew how to articulate it yet at that point, but They'd felt like they'd been missing something for a while, and being together again, that feeling started to go away. Eventually, though, they did run out of things to talk about, and so they headed home. In fact, the next chapter of our story takes place immediately after Hero arrives back home, which means he's going to be tired through this whole next bit. You can imagine how cranky he's going to be. What's going on? Oh, watch this, Hero. Meowth picked up a new move recently. Is it going to turn on the TV? Is that is its new move turn on TV? Yeah, okay. That's adorable. It's so graceful. I bet it saw me turn on the TV and wanted to try it for itself. <sighs> you guys are a hoot. This just in. The Aether Foundation is holding a press conference as we speak, addressing the black cloud that appeared over Pony Island. That was a while ago. wonder why they're doing this now. 
Oh wait. Now this kind of makes sense. If Willie's back, that means her mom would be back too. So this is the first chance that Lucimine would have had to address the situation since then. Yeah, okay. Yeah, and there she is. Yeah, I know that many of you must have heard of the dark clouds covering Pony Island on the news. You may be feeling concerned now about what is going on, but let me put your fears to rest. This phenomenon was caused by a previously unknown Pokemon called Necrozma. Necrozma passed through an ultra wormhole, a wormhole that connects different worlds, and came here to steal Alola's light. Chatter chatter, Necrozma? What does she mean, steal our light? There is nothing to be worried about, though. Thanks to the action of one brave trainer, that'd be me, and the threat has already been dealt with. Alola will not be swallowed by darkness. So I imagine this information's probably been out there in some form or another since this happened. She's just coming out to make it official now that she's back. She's, she, looks, she looks like she's doing a lot better, which is good. And the Aether Foundation will conduct extensive research into the Ultra Wormholes so that we can prevent any such events in the future. To be, to be specific, we will begin by... Uh, what? 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 That hole? How is that possible? An Ultra Wormhole? But why now? Eek! Who exactly are you, sir? Interesting. The technology of the Aether Foundation. Uh, the knowledge of other worlds. It would be very useful to Team Rocket. Or rather, Team Rainbow Rocket. And did you mean to suggest that... Uh, did he mean to suggest that his people created this Ultra Wormhole intentionally? Uh, we will not allow this to go unchecked. P president please come back! Hello, are you seeing this? The sudden turn of events has left this scene in chaos. Uh, Team Rainbow Rocket? Is this some kind of prank? Interesting. So, uh... That just happened. No, oh, what happened to the TV hero? Now, now I wonder who that is. Lily. Hero. Didn't expect to see you again so soon. Well, Alola, Lily. Uh, Alola, ma'am. I'm sorry to come barge again like this. Really nothing to be sorry about. I was just watching the news at the professor's lab, and... And... Did you see it too, Hero? The ultra wormhole? Yes, an ultra wormhole opened up in the middle of the pre press conference. And then everything got so confused. Maybe it was some kind of performance. I'm sure Mother will be fine, but still. Uh, I'm going to see what's happening in Aether Paradise. I guess I just wanted to let you know. Sorry again for disturbing- No, you- no. Have, have we gone back to this? Has she forgotten that she doesn't actually have to ask me for help? She didn't, technically, this time, I guess. But, but feeling bad about coming and telling me that she's worried, I think, falls into the same category. Oh, did Lily leave already? I thought she came over for a visit. Now we visited last night, Mom. It's fine. She did look worried, though. I hope everything... Yeah, I do, too. I'm gonna... Definitely gonna follow her. I'm glad that I at least never have to worry about you here. Yeah, you finally got the memo, I guess. All right, um... Yeah, I need to get to Aether Paradise. There's really... No two ways about it. I had really hoped that there'd be more calm before whatever storm came next, though. Whatever. Look alive, Rotom. Yep. Yeah, I was hoping. I was hoping putting you back in your old casing would reactivate Roto Lotto. What, what have we got this time, buddy? What is this one? Do I know this one? What is it? Roto HP. Yeah, I know this one. Okay. Yeah, okay. I read OHP or... Yeah, I know what it does, buddy. It's fine. You don't have to tell me. Really. Alright, um... Maybe I'm being a little too se sentimental, but, uh... I've already got Nebby with me. I feel like... I feel like if I'm gonna do this, I should do it with my old team, right? I mean, if I... If, if there ends up being a real problem and they're not enough to cut it, 
I'll go get somebody else out, but I really feel like using him again. Let, let's go let's go get the old team out. You know, one thing I did not miss about Alola is the really stinking dumb riding suit. Alright, we're back at Aether Paradise. Well, we're at Aether Paradise for the first time in actually a really long time. Um, this is the team I went with because I couldn't bring everybody. Uh, I wanted to bring Nebby, even though he's way over leveled for this. Um, as the, me as the player, knowing what's what's coming. But, um, yeah, no, that's what level he was last time we saw him, so there's nothing I can do about it. Um, I brought Bug Zap, our old buddy Bug Zap. I uh, gave him the Electrium Z. Diana with the Decidium Z. Dago with the Lycanium Z and the Stone Edge that he needs to be able to use it. My good buddy Murder with her awesome super luck ability and her Evie Light. She doesn't get a Sea Crystal because she needs the Evie Light to function. And Pupper with the Fireium Z. And then Nebby with the Lunalium Z, who I will only be using if I absolutely have to. Because again, Nebby's way over over leveled for all this. All right. Anyway, um, let's actually save the game real quick while I have a second. And um, I don't remember if you're able to like leave and come back in in the midst of this. But um, I don't know what Rotom was talking about down there, passports or something. Um, I don't remember if you're able to leave and come back in the middle of this. If you are, I might change out team members. I don't know. We'll have to see. I don't know. Okay. Everything looks normal. What the hell's going on? Um, okay. Here we go. Lily, are you okay? Hero, how oh, everything is a mess. Mother and Aether Paradise, it's all, it's just all so, it's all gone wrong. It's, calm down, it's gonna be okay. Uh, I'm sorry, I'm just so worried. It's good to see you again, Hero. Please let me explain the situation. As you may know, the President called a press conference to address the black clouds that engulfed Pony Island all that time ago, but an ultra wormhole suddenly opened and a mysterious force took over her mansion. The culprits call themselves Team Rainbow Rocket. I've heard of Team Rocket before. When I was in the Kanto region, they were an underground criminal organization that used Pokemon for their activities. I think this organization has come to Alola now. Now, that's not possible. I dismantled what was left of their organization. It's gone. And Mother. Wick says that Mother has been taken captive by this Team Rainbow Rocket. She just got back and she's being taken captive. That sucks, man. I'm trying to come up with as many ways to save the president as possible, but to be honest, the situation isn't good. The enemy is too powerful, and on top of that, we don't even know why they're interested in the Aether Foundation. I might have an idea. I bumped into these clowns a little while ago in that dumb virtual space that Sophocles built that I can't even remember what it was called. And um, it seemed like they were trying to... Um, create a new high-tech headquarters for themselves. A Aether Foundation is is exactly the kind of place where um, any building they pick would serve that purpose. I, I want to save my mother, but we just aren't strong enough on our own. I know this is a lot to ask, but if you could lend us your strength, Hero. I'm assuming that you're just asking me as a formality, because the answer is, of course, yes. I feel so much better and now, knowing you and Nebby are at our side, Hero. There's a swarm of Team Rainbow Rocket grunts ahead. Take this, you might need it. Okay. A big Molosada. Yeah, okay. Sure. Please be careful, you two. Us too? You're coming too, Lily? Of course. Okay, I mean, Lily has been on her own Pokemon journey at this point. We didn't really get to talk about it much during our late night rendezvous. I wonder how strong has she gotten? We'll have to see. Come on, Lily. Yeah, he saw us. 
What? More Foundation members who haven't learned their lesson? Ahead is the new HQ for Team Rainbow Rocket. Be gone, intruders! Please leave this person to me. And you should go on ahead, hero. Yeah, okay. You get him, Lily. Hey, Team Rocket has now become Team Rainbow Rocket. Uh, witness our reborn strength. I love it goes into, like, the old-style music and then dials up to, like, new-style music. For them, this is so cool. This is such a cool... Like, I'm, I'm being storyteller AJ right now, telling my, my OC's story, right? But, like, this is such a real... This is such a cool post-game segment, right? Ugh. Get it. Thunderbolt. Yeah, that's not really gonna matter much, probably, because I don't think you're gonna last all that long, man. Get it. Zappy zap. Not bad. Level 61. That's, that's nothing to sneeze at, man. But still, it's just Team Rocket. I've witnessed your strength. I can't take any more. Yeah, screw off, man. Alright. Hey, there's a girl one. Oh, what a cute little child. You should go home before you get hurt. Yeah, I was gonna say the same thing to you, lady. I'm also not a child. I'm, like, in my upper teens now. I'm just short. Also, I know I don't get into this often. Usually I talk about how well designed the characters are. I find the female Rainbow Rocket Grunt, like, really cute. Am I the only one? Re really, I am? Okay. It's a bummer. Get it. Zappy zap. Okay. Um, it's faster than me. That's not great. Is Persian more of a special attacker than I always thought he was? Uh, it doesn't matter. It's down. Yep. Yep. Yeah, I guess I should be the one heading home when I need to figure out where home is. That's a weird line. Why wouldn't she know where her home is? Unless she's, like, literally homeless, but... Oh, the mansion looks freaking rad. You can only bow down before our perfect plan. Okay, I'm, 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 I'm not gonna. What do you have? Each of these guys only has one Pokemon, too. That's so lame. Hunter. Hunta, Hunta. Really should switch to somebody else at this point, but... Bug Zap's just, like... Too good not to use. Um, let's crunch this thing. Cause it's definitely gonna have a uh, have levitate or something, so um, dig won't work. Boom. Yeah, I knew you could do it. Bug zap. You're the best. May have over leveled for these guys too. <laughs> the more the more I see of their teams. Yeah, our plan. Uh, maybe it's not so perfect. Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna say it's not. Because you're flipping Team Rocket. You suck. Rotom, man, we are right We are right in the middle of something really important. Can, can, I mean, I, I love you, man, but can you stop talking for like five minutes, please? Thank you. All right. What have you got for me? Another win? I'll take another win. I just love that music. I love that intro music. It's just so very, very good. Right, what's your one Pokemon? A Golbat. Probably the Team Rocket Pokemon that is least suited to my lead Pokemon. Cool. Uh, let's let's Thunderbolt, please. It's also faster than me. Like I know I know Vikavolt isn't very fast, but I'm I'm a much higher level than this thing. Is Golbat really that fast? Eh, whatever. Get this goop out of my bug zaps. Not hair. The, the space between its exoskeletal plates? Or just this one spot off of the back of its wing plate? Okay, that, that works too. Here, have a freaking... Oh, what are these called? Pokebean. God damn. Uh, it has been a little while since I've played this game. 
Alright. Yeah, Rotom, man, we just had this conversation. I'm gonna... I'm gonna heal a little bit. And I'm gonna go in here, and I am going to put somebody else out first. Let's do Doggo for a little while. That sounds like fun. And I haven't actually gotten to use his special uh, Z move because I didn't realize that you just had to put Stone Hedge on him to make it work. Um, should I go check on Lily? I mean, I don't, I don't, again, like, I've, I've been saying this forever, but I don't want her to think, I don't think she can do it. But, um, yeah, she seems like she's, she's doing okay. Alright. Jesus, this is cool looking. Listen to that. Oh, and she's here. Okay. You, uh, handled that pretty readily, huh? Hero. This mansion, it looks like some kind of castle. Is this, is this also because of the Ultra Wormhole that Wick was talking about? I don't know what voice to use when I say stop right there. We'll see. We'll see what happens. Oh, it's... Goddamn Faba. Stop right there. Mr. Faba, what are you doing here? I strongly suggest you abandon your effort to thwart Team Rainbow Rocket. What do you mean by that? If Team Rainbow Rocket takes over Aether Paradise, the organization will grow far beyond where we are today, and more Pokémon will be saved. And if I can insist, if I can assist it in doing so, dear God, no doubt my career will also reach new heights. Yeah, okay. Last time I saw this guy, it really seemed like he was trying to turn over a new leaf, but I had I had a sneaky suspicion that he was just the same douchebag he'd always been. Looks like I should have trusted my instincts. It's such a wonderful thought, wouldn't you agree? Nope. And I'm gonna kick your ass if you don't move. Mr. Faba, did... did you... you wouldn't. Ah, as astute as ever, Miss Lily. Not the same intuition that told you to rescue Cosmog. Still serves you well, I see. Yes, you, you guessed correctly. I have taken it upon myself to facilitate Team Rainbow Rocket's takeover and ensure everything goes smoothly. God, he's a dick. Mr. Faba, how could you? We trusted you, and you... The Aether Foundation is not some tool for you to use to move up in the world. You have to make this uh, Team Rainbow Rocket stop all of this at once. I like this new assertive Lily. A lot, actually. You may be astute, Miss Lily, but I see you are less inclined to listen to reason. Now, even I would be hard-pressed against the champion, especially if Gladion or the grandson of the Kahuna were aiding him. But with you tripping him up, perhaps it won't be so difficult for me to win, even against the champion. I thank you in advance, Miss Lily. Traveling with Hero has changed me, too. I'll show you my full power. All right. As you will. Then I, Branch Chief Faba, Aether Paradise's last line of defense, shall show you little children the harshness of the real world.